back. Um, I just want to go over with you guys today with just a quick video. We're going to test out the 36 yard zero for a uh, AR platform. These are both chambered in 5.56, just shooting regular bulk ammo that we got. Uh, we zeroed both of them at 36 yards. It's supposed to give us uh, the best trajectory for what we're going to use it for from zero clear out to 300 yards. So we're going to go out and test it today at 300 actually with just these red dots as a Vortec red dot and a uh, six order red dot. But um, if you guys want to come with us, we're going to just finish up here, do a little bit of training, and then we'll head up there. set up in uh, range out 300 yards and we're going to test this out um, we're going to set up to where we can get as level as possible down there and uh, give it a shot so we'll see you in a minute all right so we got over here and we got to do a little bit more hiking than we thought we shot this uh, with our range finder and to get 300 let me see we got to go down to the second water bar from the top of that hill so we got us a little bit of a hike. He probably doesn't do justice how steep these hills are, but all right, we're heading over there. We made it over here, got the target set up. Actually, I need to put a couple staples in that. If it comes off before I get back over there, I'll be so mad. Um, got this set up, we gotta go, let's see, all the way back over there where my backpack's at. So we're gonna head back over there, send a couple rounds. I got um, my spotting scope. We're gonna check the target with it. Um, I'm gonna try to verify with my phone through that if possible. If not, I'll just have to come back over and grab this thing, but. Well, we kind of came to the realization that we're gonna be shooting into the sun and our target's completely shadowed. So we're gonna have to deal with that, see if we can even get close to it, but see what's going on. Oops. Always leave with more garbage than you came in with. It's always good luck. All right, go ahead and look through that. Tell me if you can see the target. That's it. Okay, now you're going to see heat waves. So it's going to look a little bit out of focus, but those are actual heat waves that you're seeing. But we're lucky today. It's super, super calm day, so we shouldn't have any problem with that. Plus, it's only 300 yards. But so, yeah, it's going to be rough to see. But get those in, and we'll take a shot. Now, tell me when you're ready, and then you got to really, really focus and and watch my round go down range. You know what I mean? Tell me if I'm hitting high, low, where because. I can't hardly see that target at all, to be honest with you. Yeah. But we'll make it happen, I guess. I'm going to get on target. It's going to take me a minute to actually spot this target and get set up. To shoot. I can barely see it. All right, you ready? Yep. It, you hit above the cardboard to the left. Not Hi. far, not far above it. Okay, let me try to get a better aim. I can't hardly see it, but I'm just guessing when I cover it up. It hit above the cardboard. Are right, you ready? About, it's about the same. Okay. I'm trying to adjust, but I can't see that target at all. I think you hit the cardboard on that one. I. looked high again well you're gonna see the dust come up high you know what I mean well it might be just that then I can't tell you know what I mean I jumped too like I moved you know hang on give it one more that 
one was high left, it looks like. Either, either that or the dust is flying high left. Well, it, you can see the dust is, fo is following left. It's just carrying the left. The dust might be just carrying left. But also... I can't tell where it's hitting. I truly can't see the goddamn target. So good? Good. Those last two there, I uh, looked like it went through to the left. You know what I mean? Those last two there, I could actually focus on the target. I actually I don't got, even know if I got see focused it. in. Hey guys, when we set up to shoot this project, we were kind of on a time basis and we were going to cut a little firewood during this. So we were trying to hurry up. So when we got out there, I knew the sun wasn't going to be in our favor, but we ended up just going for it anyhow. Taking the target out there, once we got back, we knew, you know, we couldn't see it at all. We were basically following the shadow uphill a little bit to try to get on and take some shots as you can see you know it wasn't horrible everything wasn't working out perfect but uh, we do have a clip coming up of the uh, target and uh, if you guys would like to see us try this again I'm thinking about maybe throwing this scope back on my gun that I used to have on there and trying it again at 36 yards but if you do want to watch some videos of this zero vigilance elite is where I found it from uh, he has a really good YouTube channel there's a lot of good content on there but um, if you guys want to watch that type in 36 yard zero it's probably one of the first ones that comes up but vigilance elite is the the channel's name but uh, if you guys want just finish watching the video like share and subscribe I really appreciate you guys I try to do these videos just for fun um, I like learning new stuff all the time that's basically why we do them for you know to try to inspire other people to do stuff and learn stuff and get outside but uh, also it helps me with just keeping up to par with my editing for um, my business I have a drone business on the side so just kind of keeps me fluent in that in between jobs and stuff but uh, all right I appreciate it guys here's the next clip on the very top and then one here and one here Looks like one in the middle one right? maybe not eh? yeah I don't see none huh. well I see several of them to the left here, so it looks like we were hitting to the left, but considering we couldn't see this at all, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we were in the general vicinity, but we still don't have any actual conclusion on whether no. that zero paid off or not, but <laughs> if I've completely focused and dimmed my red dot down as, as small and dim as I could get it, I, I could, could somewhat see, see this square, but other than that, yeah, I have no idea, but oh well, we got some hits. That just means we'll have to come back and try again.